Hey guys, Princess Di here. Um, so it's been a week since I last vlogged and um, yes, I am still doing Robbie again. <laughs> Just for all of those of you who are like, oh, here she goes again. But I gotta say, um, this is just something that I'm just shocked as how much I'm loving it. Um, honestly, it's like shocking the hell out of me. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to talk a little bit about this this week. I didn't want to vlog yet, um, like during the day. I mean, I did vi many videos, which I'm going to put at the end of this. So I won't make it too long. But um, I really wanted this week to be like my own and like make videos so that I have it to show you later. But I really wanted to take my time to make sure this is something I wanted to do and, you know, try things out. Uh, I may do more, more up to date videos now that I know what I'm kind of doing. Um, but that's what I wanted to take this week for. So to really have myself, um, you know, test it out, make sure what works, what doesn't work, how I'm feeling and things like that. Um, and I gotta say, I'm feeling great. <laughs> I'm feeling amazing. It's just like, I am loving it. I'm loving it and I just like, I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Okay, so um, one little bump in the road was when I did go to that, um, so that day, Sunday night, I was flying to a facility training facility. Oh, by the way, if you hear that, it's Momo drinking water over there because he's very thirsty. Um, I went to a facility in Dallas uh, that we have for training and there um, we, I mean, we're not allowed to leave. However, they think of, and I just, I've talked about this place before, it's like they feed you like you're going to like die that second. They like, it's like food overload every day, 24-7. And it's food that it's like, it's like amazing. Okay, so at the beginning, I tried. So I would say I was, I did 50-50% uh, raw vegan. Um, there's sometimes where you know there's people and there's too many choices, and it was too new for me, and I didn't have the willpower to say no. That's really much it. Although one time I did do lunch and a smoothie, but they did it in the bag, and I don't know what they put in it. It was nasty, so I was like, screw it. I'm just gonna eat regular food. I could have a salad, but I didn't. So yeah, for one and a half days, I did fail a little bit. But um, hi, Momo. You wanna say hi? Yeah. I wanna say hi, everyone. I'm a pretty baby. I'm so pretty. Look. Huh? Huh? Okay. Oh. Sorry. Um. So yeah. So that was a little bit, you know, a fail, but. Not like the thing is like when I was doing a CG, it's like oh my god, if you fail, it's like oh my gosh, a few days or you have to recover, and it was like not even, you know, it was like it's okay, you know, it's food, just keep going as soon as you get back, and as soon as I got back, I got back at 10 o'clock that night, and then I had to go to New York the next morning at 6 a.m., and I still got up early enough to make sure that I make my smoothie to take to work, um, so I was like I'm not fooling around with this, I'm not, you know. And then I went again on Friday and I took my food again and it's, you know, I made sure that uh, I've been on it and it's been amazing. Um, I've been, you know, doing green smoothies, green juices, um, smoothie bowls, which right now are my favorite. Oh my God, this raw buckwheat, buckwheat, it's delicious. I was like, first I was like, this is gonna be nasty. <laughs> And mulberries are freaking amazing and oh my god, I'm just in love. Some of the dressings have been hit and miss. I uh, tried kelp noodles for the first time and holy crap, they're amazing. I used to uh, eat the miracle noodles, which I never liked and I was like, this is probably going to be the same thing. Not at all. Oh my god, kelp noodles are delicious, delicious. Um, and yeah, so that's really uh, kind of like an overall update. I am losing weight. Um, it's you know it's and I'm eating so good. I'm so happy. It was a little bit hard sometimes when you're around people. Like today, I went to my uh, uh, father-in-law's for a barbecue, and I was like, well, they're not gonna have anything that I could eat there. Literally, like zero. So I'm like, well, I don't care. I'm gonna make my own, and I make my own smoothie bowl, and I brought everything. I have a video I'll show you, but. It's like, uh, I don't care what they think, so I'm gonna do me, you know, and um, and it's been great. So, um, the next challenge that I'll have is that I'm, uh, be, I'm gonna be traveling starting Wednesday for two weeks. Um, so, that's gonna be a challenge, uh, but I've, I've, um, I've been pretty, you know, um, 
okay with allowing myself to not be so not not to be like oh i'm gonna throw the, the towel away no i'm gonna be i'm gonna try to be 100 percent. if i'm 80 percent raw then you know that's good also um i will eat fish there i will eat um raw uh, raw fish uh, and i'll count it as my raw food um because they have awesome like poke and sashimi in I'm going to Hawaii. I didn't, I didn't say where I'm going. So I'm going to Hawaii. So obviously there's going to be a lot of fruits and stuff, which is going to help me keep it to be, you know, um, as raw as I can. But I will not be fully raw vegan. And I've been while I'm here, when I'm home, I'm going to fully do that. But if I'm traveling, I will allow myself to have um, raw fish. And then a meal here and there in the two weeks, I'll, I'll probably be cooked because there's just Hawaii meals that I love and adore that I will probably have like my loco moco and my pipi kala, you know, and my shrimp, okay, that's probably gonna be it. I think I'm gonna be like three or four meals that I'm gonna allow myself to eat and feel absolutely happy. And then the rest, I'm gonna do everything possible. Um, I'm gonna bring my Nutribullet, I'm gonna do, you know, I'm gonna do another video about that. But just for now, I just wanna just give an update. And hopefully going forward, I'll do more like shorter, uh, not like a whole update, it's just gonna be like, you know, here's my day and I will do my day because I love uh, having uh, seen videos of people's days um, because there's not that many um, and so that's what I'm gonna <clears throat> try to do. But I did do a lot of videos um, so I hope you like uh, watching uh, what I ate this week. Um, I think I did a lot of videos of what I ate so um, you guys get to see them. Um, and I'm gonna be packing soon. Again, I'm leaving Wednesday morning. This is one of the outfits I'm gonna wash and I'm gonna bring because it's adorable. I'm gonna show you. I bought it at Target. Um, it's like, it's like, it's like a shirt and uh, instead of skirt. So here's, here I am right now. Um, but then it's also a skirt. It's a long skirt, but then it has, see, it has like holes down the middle. I'm gonna stand out like it always do. shoulder which is always so flattering but okay this is long enough because I'm gonna add the other stuff I hope you enjoy it I can't wait to share um what I've been doing and um I will see you guys soon aloha and as the dessert I made um mango and banana nice cream which is like an ice cream consistency consistency <laughs> Um, it's just one mango and one frozen banana. So that's gonna be it for me. For lunch, I'm gonna make a smoothie bowl, kind of like a banana and ice cream because it's a little bit thick, but it's more like a between an ice cream and a smoothie. I put here half a mango, one and a half frozen bananas, and half a cup of blueberries. I'm gonna top it with buckwheat, raw buckwheat. Uh, shredded coconut it's reduced fat but it's not really it's just really really finely um, sliced and I don't think I like it but I bought it um, hemp seeds chia seeds and strawberries and um, kiwis so and this is what it looks like after I gotta say this is so pretty and the best thing is that it's gonna taste even better and it's full of healthy fats awesome uh, fresh fruit and I'm so excited to eat this as my lunch and by the way I put um, one teaspoon of each one of these and two strawberries one kiwi yum 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 oh my god this looks so pretty and so good banana pear grapefruit so I just want to a couple of juice bars around the area where I'm working now which is the new area I found some gems that I can't wait to try. I got an acai bowl with um, banana, hemp seeds, and chia seeds, and strawberries. Obviously, I'm not going to eat everything. I'm going to try a little bit and take it home. This is uh, kelp noodles, pesto, and um, a nori sushi, avocado, cauliflower, and some other yummy vegetables roll. So, so excited! So for dinner, I'm making a pad thai, raw pad thai, 
um, and it looks delicious so far. I'm not going to give the exact recipe because it's somebody else's ebook recipe, obviously, so I'm not going to give it away. But it has kelp noodles, which I've soaked in um, water uh, overnight. This is for another recipe, I'm going to still use it. It has uh, shredded carrots, shredded uh, cabbage. I also added this myself, it wasn't in the recipe, uh, but I wanted it. Some uh, bean sprouts, and then the dressing has almond butter, apple cider vinegar, paprika, um, it has date, ginger, uh, um, coconut aminos, and I think that's about it. Oh, and a zucchini to make it creamy. So let's see what it looks like when I pour this. Oh my god, look how awesome. Yum. I'm going to mix it and let's see what it turns out to be. This is the final product. Look at that noodles and the cabbage. Oh my god, I tried the sauce. Um, so the sauce is like so sweet. It tastes like a peanut sauce with the almond butter. Oh, did I mention that it has almond butter? It's so good. It is so, it's like one of the best ones I've tried so far. But I'm not gonna eat it now. I'm actually gonna let it soak and eat it for tomorrow. So I can, this is my first time trying uh, 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 kelp noodles. So I'm gonna let it actually sit in, in the sauce and um, eat it tomorrow. That's my plan. We can't wait. And I'm, I'm having the lunch leftovers of the kelp pesto noodles and the rest of the sushi with uh, avocado and cauliflower and many other things and a little bit of a green smoothie. Mumu, do you want some? So for breakfast, I'm gonna have this whole um, half a watermelon. I'm gonna actually scoop it out because I've seen people do it and never done it that way. So I'm gonna try it that way. For lunch, dinner-ish, I'm having tacos uh, and lettuce cups. And I had uh, made like a little guacamole with avocado, um, uh, tomatoes, lemon, um, and then I put some microgreens on top of it, and I made about five of them. Probably could have put cucumbers now that I think about it, but it's my first try at them. Hey guys, I just woke up a little bit ago, and I am having the other half of my watermelon. I almost finished it yesterday. I put a little bit away. Um, I'm gonna make a smoothie with it. Let's see if I finish this one because I didn't have a heavy dinner yesterday, so I'm actually hungry. It's like 11. Usually, like sometimes I do intermittent fasting. Today, I'm like, I want to eat. So I'm eating a watermelon. Hey guys, so right now I'm actually going to my father-in-law's house and they're going to do um, barbecue. And I'm like, crap, this is the first time I'm invited to something that I can't really eat. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they're going to have salad, but I really don't want to have salad. And I want to kind of show them, you know, what I'm... Uh, what I'm doing. So I decided to do a smoothie bowl to go. So here's what I did. I put in here one frozen banana, one mango, and a cup of uh, frozen blueberries. And I'm gonna put it in this container to go. It's like really, it's kind of like an ice cream smoothie. So I'll do that myself <laughs> um, later, the whole thing. Um, and then to top it, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a hole and I'm gonna slice over there one kiwi, three strawberries, and toppings. So I have these little bags and I measure all my toppings. So I have um, 14 ounces of mulberry, half a teaspoon of chia seeds, one uh, half a tablespoon, one tablespoon of um, buckwheat, and half a tablespoon of hemp seeds. And I'm gonna just put it all together and it's gonna be beautiful and they're gonna see what I'm eating now. So yeah, so I'm really excited to do that. and um, and it's not that hard. I mean, yeah, people are gonna be like, what, are you, what is she doing? But I don't care. So I can't wait to eat this. So I'm like, I can't literally wait to like put it together and eat it. So um, yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Bye. Do you want to go sit over there? My husband is sitting. Yeah, I'll sit there in the class. No, no one, needs, no one needs to sit there right now. Everybody else. There's two seats over there. Right? No, I'm just gonna meet him for a little bit. <laughs>